Greetings, everyone. I'd like to discuss today the very last feast that we celebrate in the year of the Church, and that's the Feast of Christ the King. Now, first of all, there are many different ways in which we measure the year. We can measure the calendar year that goes from January to December. We can measure the school year that goes from September till June. But there's also what we call the, litur the liturgical year, the year of the Church, which starts at the beginning of Advent, which usually is the end of November, and goes around again until the end of November the next year, where that, where that day, um, where the year comes to a close. And the very last Sunday of the year, we celebrate the Feast of Christ the King. Why? Why we, do we have it at that particular time of the year? Well, the reason for that is that all of the time is going to culminate in the kingship of Christ. The very end thing, just like the very end of the year, the very end thing of all of creation is going to be the victory of Christ the King. Jesus is our King. He's our King right now. But he's giving us the choice of whether or not we are willing to submit to his authority, to follow what he says, or not. So while we're living in this world, we have that choice to follow Jesus or not to follow Jesus. Jesus doesn't want to force us. He doesn't want to coerce us into following him. He wants us to be inspired by the love that he has for us. And so when he died on the cross and rose again from the dead, all of those uh, demonstrations of God's love for us should inspire us to want to follow Jesus, to give our lives over to him, not because of force, but voluntarily, freely, that we want to give ourselves over to Jesus. But there will come a time when everything will come to an end, this world will come to an end, and then the kingship of Jesus is going to be seen by everyone. Right now we don't see it, but the kingship of Jesus is going to be seen by everyone. And according to whether we have followed Jesus or not, that will determine everything in terms of our eternal life, what, what is going to happen for us beyond the, this, this life. And so we close the, the church's year with the Feast of Christ the King. First of all, remembering what always, already is a reality, that Jesus Christ is our King, even though the full reality of that isn't seen for us, but we also look forward to that final reality, that Jesus' kingship will be shown to the whole world so that everyone will know that Jesus is our king. As, and as it says in one of St. Paul's letter, his letter to the Philippians, at the name of Jesus, every knee will bend in the heavens and on earth because we will acknowledge Jesus as our king. God bless you.